About 25% of all the energy that we use in America is used in our homes. You may be surprised to know that you can reduce your energy bills 50 to 80%. But the only way to get that large of a reduction, 50 to 80%, is to take the holistic view. The holistic view would kind of force us to do all seven categories of energy consumption in a home. The first one we always look at is electrical usage, refrigerators, um, things like pool pumps, all of the lighting, and all of the other electrical uses in your home. Even the vampire losses, for example, uh, 8 to 15 percent of all the energy that we use in our home are some things that we might not even be aware of. For example, leaving cell phone chargers plugged in when there's not even a cell phone being charged, or cable boxes, uh, electrical uh, energy being used by remote control appliances. Yeah, and those are getting larger all the time. The next three categories we need to look at are our thermal envelope or our enclosure loads. Windows and doors, air leakage, air infiltration and exfiltration, air leaking in and out of our home. And thirdly, the real performance of the insulation. So that gets us to four. The next two categories are heating and cooling equipment. And we divide that into two groups the efficiency of the equipment itself and then the efficiency of the distribution system or duct system that we use to distribute the heat through the house. And our very last category is the water heating, um, the water heater itself, a, a fixture, draws, and the piping. There's a whole new breed of contractors out there, and they're called home performance contractors. And these are contractors that really look at your bill and look at how your house operates as a system other than just recommending uh, buying products. Uh, far too often uh, when we have high bills, sometimes the first thing we might do is call a heating and cooling contractor. And of course, when they come out, they're going to assess your system and sell you a new system. Uh, or if you uh, call an insulation contractor, they're going to want, of course, put in more insulation. If you call a window contractor, they're going to replace your windows. A home performance contractor looks at the entire house as a system, disaggregates your bill, and then tells you what is the, um, most, the biggest bang for the buck when it comes to spending that money. Right. The home performance contractor has to look at all seven categories and his first challenge is to identify the opportunity for improvement in each category and then to quantify it. After he quantifies it, then he has to figure out how to capture that opportunity in all seven categories. Absolutely. And I think it's important to recognize that when we hire a home performance contractor, we understand really what these people uh, are really trained to do. They all have a specific set of, uh, of skills and credentials. Yeah, all contractors work to codes and standards. We have a set of laws that make us all be careful. Um, a building performance contractor works to a higher set of standards. These standards have been established by the Building Performance Institute. And it's more thorough training that makes us pay attention to all the interactions in homes, combustion safety, and how to performance test the performance of all our energy features. An important part uh, of the tasks that home performance contracts should perform is they do a detailed assessment of your house. That means they uh, measure the air infiltration rates using a blower door. Uh, they use uh, duct testing equipment to measure the airflow rates and the leakage out of your duct work. They also oftentimes use infrared thermography or cameras to diagnose where you may have massive amounts of air infiltration or defects in your insulation. Yep, and with that information, then we can capture the opportunity. And after the assessment, they'll come in and they basically will perform whatever the prescribed series of retrofits are going to be. And then it's really important that during that process, they also are constantly taking measurements and evaluations using this diagnostic equipment to make sure that the work is done properly and that the intentions are met. One of the important tasks of a home performance contractor is to look at all the interactions between the different energy features. When we size a heating and cooling system for a home, that sizing is so dependent on the actual performance of the insulation, the air leakage rates in the house, and a lot of the other energy features. In this multi-part video series, we're gonna be looking at a home step-by-step -step on how you perform a high-performance home energy retrofit. So we'll be showing you step-by-step -step how you can save 50 to 80% on your energy bills.